The Bookshelf Symphony Orchestra is a 10-song concept album created for readers and writers. Each song was directly inspired by the novel that it is titled after and couldn't have been created without these novels. What was very interesting about this production process is that we weren't writing music for film or for images that had already been there. Uh, we were taking someone's story from a book, taking the images in our heads, from those books and then applying the music to that. It was about a two-year process from start to finish, from writing and arranging and recording and doing the entire process again. I truly couldn't have done this without the help of Adam and Heath. You know, when I pitched this to them, it was kind of a funny moment. He came to us out of the blue and said, I want to make an album about books. And I said, okay, what does that mean? And he, he said, well, Actually, I, I have a collection of, of songs that I've written over the years that uh, were inspired by various books that I've read. We got to use our imagination and find a way to tell a story sonically and musically and melodically as well uh, in a way that we thought captured the essence of these stories that we love. He wanted them to be transported into the stories through the music. And uh, my role was to make that come to fruition and translate that efficiently. One of the unique challenges that we were up against was finding out how to make all the songs feel cohesive with one another in an album format. Kill the Farm Boy, like it, it, there's, you know, these themes and, and melodies that are just like really like, oh, this feels, you know, exactly like what the book is titled and what the story conveys. Take a song like Patient Zero and then The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding. Um, those songs conjure up wildly different feelings. Patient Zero is kind of scary. Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding is almost like a journey because that's how the books are. You're able to set scenes. You're able to create different tones uh, with the music that transport people to another world, just like literature. You're creating a story with sounds. When somebody listens to this album, I'm hoping that they will be inspired in the same way that these novels inspired me. I'm hoping that they will feel the same sense of wonder that I felt when I was reading these stories. We hope people hear this music and then they feel inspired to write their own books, their own novels, their own screenplays, create their own music, create their own paintings. Whatever it is, we want to create this continuity of creative inspiration so that we can keep art alive and thriving.